how do you define sexual empowerment as a Muslim woman, as somebody who is unapologetically talking about it? What does it mean to you? Oof, you know what? It's it's such a great question and it's so like I don't even know where to begin. I I don't feel like I represent every Muslim or even every woman or every Asian. And so I think sometimes people put that on us though because they don't know many um diverse people so when you're that one person that they upon one point of reference so even people listening to your podcast will be like okay that's 75% of Asians or more so you don't want to be representing but there's a kind of um assumption that you are representing um it's interesting it's difficult for me because i feel like i don't fit in like muslim women don't kind of claim me necessarily as somebody that they um, approve of necessarily but some do and uh, so there's obviously this uh, kind of diversity or mixed mixed um, reactions mixed responses um and i think it's hard as a muslim woman because nobody really wants to listen to us and 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 accept what we're telling them um because they've been taught and so much about us before they've even met any muslim woman they've been told we're oppressed they've been told we have forced marriages they're told we are all sorts of things and so by the time they come across someone like me who's quite comfortable in my own skin and um you know quite honest i suppose quite maybe just average if if that's unfair i don't know but like just basically regular um is maybe they think that like something's weird because that's not what they've been taught so i don't know if that makes them think i'm a unique or outsider which i guess as a comedian i guess we kind of are outsiders anyway um or whether you know they usually are very curious as to what muslims think or what my family think so it still feels very much like i'm not able to to represent myself as an as my own person 